just prepare your house, prepare your house. The more that we prepare our hearts for what he wants to do on our missions, the more he's going to give to you. The more he's going to, because here's the thing. Some of you may be in a waiting period, right? You may be like, come on, God, come on. Like, why does anything happen? Why isn't this happening? Come on, I need it now. Like, I want it now. I'm ready for it. Just give it to me. Like, I do that too. I've done that too. But when I look back at some of the things I'm doing now that even maybe two years ago I wasn't doing or three years ago, I wasn't ready yet. And I would have ruined it. And I would have sabotaged it for myself, actually. And so he's not going to give it to you until he knows that you're ready and that you're going to be able to, it's going to be beneficial for you. It's going to be positive for you. So if you're in that waiting period, like, there's nothing wrong with that. That's actually a really good thing. And you just want to stay on that path and just keep, you know, keep just growing. The thing is, maybe you are ready. And maybe he's preparing someone else or other people that need to be ready to, like, bring you. So he's not punishing you. He's preparing you. He's not punishing you. He's pruning you for what you're going to do for what your mission is. And your mission could be huge, it could be small, but it's big no matter what, because if you're still here, he has that plan and he has it ready for you. Maybe he's revealed it, maybe he hasn't yet. And that's okay, because he will. 